You are typically eligible for Medicare if you are eligible for either Social Security benefits or railroad retirement benefits. There are a few important differences when you enroll in Medicare if you are or were a railroad worker. Now I'm going to discuss those differences in this video. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, and I created this blog to help you to become a tech-savvy senior. My tips and advice are useful to anyone, but my specific focus is in helping seniors to become more familiar with technology to improve and better their lives. If you have a question, leave a comment below. I do read all the comments that people leave, and yes, I do personally respond to each and every one of them as well. I've created many other videos on improving your technology skills, and I'll link to those in the description below, and both during and at the end of this video, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every week, and I'll be uploading many more explanations of film, video, photo editing, and tech topics that seniors can use because I am a full-time working photographer, video producer, editor, and technology pro. That is the small business that I own, and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact information in the description below. Contact me if you need photography or video production services for you personally or for your business. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to get my free Medicare Options Cheat Sheets They'll give you all the information you need to get the right Medicare plan for you. Now, an important note, all of the information in this video is accurate at the time of publication, but is subject to change by the federal government, so check the Medicare website for the most accurate data when it's time for you to sign up for your specific Medicare plan. Now, I'll link to all the relevant government agencies in the description below for you so you can find out the information that you need. If you're a retiring railroad worker starting Medicare, there are special circumstances for you to consider. Your enrollment will be processed by the Railroad Retirement Board, RRB, instead of by Social Security. If you are receiving railroad retirement benefits or railroad disability annuity checks when you become eligible for Medicare, RRB should automatically enroll you in Medicare Parts A and B. You should receive your Medicare card and a letter from RRB explaining that you have been enrolled in Medicare. If you are not collecting railroad retirement benefits when you turn 65, you should contact your local RRB field office to enroll in Medicare. If you're under 65 and have a disability, you will have to fulfill different eligibility requirements to qualify for Medicare. Whether you are eligible for Medicare and when it begins depends on how RRB classifies your specific disability. Contact your local RRB to learn more. If you qualify for Medicare due to end-stage renal disease, or ESRD, you should contact Social Security to enroll even if you are a railroad worker because there are different circumstances for that specific illness. RRB will collect your Medicare premiums. If you receive railroad retirement benefits or railroad disability annuity checks, your Medicare Part B premium should be automatically deducted from your check each month. If you do not qualify for premium free part A, it will also be deducted from your check that you receive. Your doctors and other providers should bill a separate contractor for services covered under part B. Your providers must send railroad Medicare part B claims to the part B contractor selected by RRB. Always make sure your providers know you have railroad Medicare to ensure that Medicare pays in a timely manner. Additionally, your Medicare card will also look different. Now, if all this is making sense to you, put Tech Savvy Senior in the comments section below. Do you have a question about Medicare? If so, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Would you like to learn more about your Medicare options? 
I've created several absolutely free cheat sheets for you with all the information that you're going to need. The link to get those cheat sheets is just below in the video description. If you want to see more videos like this, follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, for more. Do you think what you saw was great? Go ahead and like it. Do you have an opinion? Then please comment below. Do you know someone who could benefit from the video that I provided? Feel free to share it. Do you want to learn even more? If so, then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I currently have nearly 4,300 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos for great tips and suggestions. If you've followed me for a while now, you may know that I have a community of technophiles just like you on Facebook where I share other pro tips and tricks. It's called video producers and content creators. I love new members who want to share their work and learn from others. You'll find a link to the group in the description below. So feel free to join my group where you'll learn even more.